I'm just back from Greece and these two packages were waiting for me. It's the Smoko S700, which is a 2 liter diving tank, and the Smoko S500, which is a 7 0.7 liter diving tank. Today I will be unboxing this, assembling it, filling it with air, and taking it for the test uh, in the pool. I am not going to give a review because it's the first test. A review will come later when I've had time to test it a bit. So basically we have the manual, the bottle, the top regulator and the strap for the arm. You pro probably just have to screw it in but I'm gonna check for sure how to uh, mount this just so we know we're not doing anything stupid here. In this little bag we have the, some sheets, we have uh, O-rings and a uh, Umbraco key tool, we have a certification card have a Smako card uh, that shows what all the parts are. It'll be here to regulate the pressure probably. It's in Chinese so I can't really read what it says there. Then we have the user manual. Probably tells me how to say English version as well. Can't read this. Uh, it's it says here designed for recreational scuba diving within 10 meters. So don't go deep with this. Also, going deep with this would make it so you can't really uh, use it a lot because the deeper you go, the more air you use and 0.7 liters isn't that much. It says inflation mode here. You can use a regulator to inflate it from, um, from a scuba bottle or you can manually do it with a manual pump or electric pump, a compressor. That's what I will use. It says nothing about how to assemble it here, so I'm just gonna do it like I know how to do it because I used to work as a commercial diver. Take off this, that's important. Put it here. Do not put oil here to make it go smoother. That is not something you want to do. If you want to fly with this, you should remove the top or they will not let you have it on the plane or if they see that you brought it on the plane without removing the top they will be not very happy. So you can't really fill it, go there, scuba dive and then go back. You have to go there, then fill it and then you can dive. Okay, I think that should be enough. And this goes around there I assume so you can have it hanging I'm not gonna use that okay let's try to fill it so to fill it I will use this water-cooled compressor this one is from mini dive they do sell a similar one on the page of Smako they also have a different compressor on Smako they are both around $500 or you can use the air pump which costs around $130 on their web page uh, this bottle takes 200 bars, so I will set it to 200, which means it contains around 1,000, no, 140 liters. Put this to 200, because I have a different tank that is 300 bars and you don't want to fill it to explosion. <laughs> there it told me it was full uh, it's now at 200 bars the bottle I am going to let it wait till after dinner because when you do fill this the bottle does get hot and hot air is uh, expands a bit so when it cools down it's probably gonna drop a little bit and I'm gonna refill it or top it up so it's I'm sure it's 200 bars when I go to the pool with it because or else it might be like 180 bars and you want it as full as possible especially when the bottle is this small I had some food, waited about uh, 15 minutes and now it's at uh, 190 bars so I'm gonna top it up to so get it at around 210 should be 200 but 210 will be fine uh, when I worked as a diver we always filled the bottle to 230 when it was a 200 uh, bar bottle so I know that's gonna be fine though I don't recommend it Thank you. 
that means it has reached the level I set it at. So now the bottle is full and can take it to the pool and test it. So I will do this test using the, the pit scooter, just driving around, up and down, around five meters, the maximum. And uh, we'll see how long this actually lasts in uh, real working conditions, not how they promote it. Just have to wait a little bit. They have uh, the diving tower open and we can't really swim around underneath the diving tower while it's open. So I have to wait till they close that in like five minutes. The regulator being fixed to the top means if you want to look down, the tank stops on your chest. So you need to move it to the side with your hand to look to the side. Then move it to the other side if you want to look to the other side. Not a big problem, but worth mentioning. Another thing to remember is since the diving tank has a manometer attached to the bottle on the side of the regulator, you will need to take the bottle out of your mouth to see how much air you have left. So you should fill your lungs, take it out of your mouth, look to see how much air you have left, then put it back into your mouth and blow out hard to get the water that is now in the mouthpiece out before you breathe in or else you will breathe in that water. Do not go up while holding your breath. That can be very dangerous and you can make your lungs explode if you do so. So when you have full lungs and you hold your breath, you should stay at the same depth or go deeper. Do not go up. If you want to go up, you have to breathe out at the same time. The air lasted for 6 minutes and 45 seconds, which is pretty good and about what I expected. On Smarko's webpage on the other hand, it's written the using time should be from 12 to 15 minutes. Even though I did not think about trying to use less air on this dive, I am pretty conservative regarding air usage. So I would not expect getting any more than 7 minutes out of this bottle. I also think the dive I did would illustrate pretty accurate how I would use this bottle in the open ocean. Though I did not swim, I was using a scooter which means I'm using less energy also using less air. Could I have made this last for 15 minutes? Yes I'm sure I could if I was laying completely still in the surface trying to breathe as little as I could. But then again I can also hold my breath for 9 minutes when lying still. So for this bottle I would expect 5 to 7 minutes when using it the way it is intended. 